When discussing the two multiplication rules for probability, we first need to start with defining independent and dependent events. Independent events are when the outcome of one event does not affect the probability outcome of the other event. For instance, event A is flipping a coin and event B is rolling a die. Whatever happens in event A, flipping the coin, has no effect on event B, rolling the die. And dependent events are when the occurrence or outcome of the first event changes the probability of the second event. For example, drawing a card from a deck and not replacing it and drawing another card. Now to the multiplication rules, and the first one is that if two events are independent, the probability of both occurring, probability of A and B, equals the probability of A times the probability of B. So flipping a coin as event A and rolling a die as event B. And what is the probability of getting a head and a six? Probability of A getting a head in the coin toss equals one over two. And the probability of B rolling a six equals one over six. Multiply them and we get one over 12 or 0.083 or 8.3% probability of this outcome. And you can see this if you draw a tree diagram with a head and a six being one of 12 possible outcomes. As another example, let's say you're a stats nerd like me and you've calculated out your own win probabilities for your favorite basketball team in their next five games. Game one, you give them a 64% win probability. Game two is at 73%. Game three is at 41%. Game four is at 44%. And game five is at 56%. Discarding injuries and load management issues, these are all independent events. So what is the probability they win the next five games? We will assign games one through five as events A through E. And using our first multiplication rule, probability of A and B and C and D and E equals probability of A times probability of B times probability of C times probability of D times probability of E. So we have 0.64 times 0.73 times 0.41 times 0.44 times 0.56, which equals 0.047 or a 4.7 probability to win five in a row. Now for multiplication rule number two, and it applies when two events are dependent. The probability of A and B equals probability of A times probability of B, given that A has already occurred. And in the last part of the equation here, this slash does not mean divide. It means, as I just stated, probability of B given that A has already occurred. To use this rule, let's say we want to find the probability of drawing two hearts from a deck without replacing after drawing. There are 52 cards in a deck, 13 of them are hearts, and we will assign drawing a heart as the first card as event A, and drawing a heart as the second card as event B. So using our equation or rule, the probability of A and B equals probability of A, which in this case is 13 over 52, times the probability of B given that A has already occurred, which is 12 over 51. It's 12 over 51 because we're assuming that our first draw was a heart, so there are only 12 hearts remaining, and 51 because we've removed a possible card from the deck with our first draw. So doing the math, we get 156 over 2,652, which equals 0.059 or a 5.9% probability of drawing two hearts from a full deck. As another example, let's say that in a certain zip code, 68% of homes have a Netflix subscription. And of these subscribers, 14% also have an Amazon Prime subscription. Based on this data, what is the probability of randomly selecting a house that has a subscription to both services? We're gonna use the formula for multiplication rule number two here. The probability of A and B equals the probability of A times the probability of B given that A has already occurred. In this situation, we'll assign event A as a home with a Netflix subscription and event B as a home with an Amazon Prime subscription. We know that probability of A is 0.68 or 68% as we were given that data. And we were actually given the second part of the equation as well. The probability of B given that A has already occurred means the probability that a home has an Amazon Prime subscription given they have a Netflix subscription, which is 0.14 or 14%. So multiplying these, we get 0.095 or a probability of 9.5% that a randomly selected home has both Netflix and Amazon Prime. All right, my friends, hopefully you got something out of this video. I do have more videos right there for you. Till next time, I am out of here.